Oh, wouldn't be alive, started alive without me messing with my hair, right? Because it is a hot mess today, let me tell you. It is just, because it's hot here and it's humid here and it just makes my hair go. I don't know. I'm truly, 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 truly thinking about cutting it all off. We'll see. Once it gets to be this length, usually I get tired of it and I chop it off um, and donate it. But we shall see. We shall see. I don't know. Um, I like donating things. I like helping others. You guys know that. I like helping. I like being a help and that kind of thing. So um, I can always just picture, you know, like a little kid with, you know, with chemo, going through chemo that needs hair and I can't just throw mine away. So, hey, Liz, how are you? How's it going? So anyways, that was like random, random spewage of words. So how are you guys? Thank you for the thumbs up already. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Liz. I don't think I've seen you before or if I have, not recently because I don't recognize your name. I'm, I'm sorry if we do know each other. Hey, Kathy. Oh, it is so hot here, you guys. In fact, I'm going to close these the rest of the way because it is getting super hot up here. I like having the sunlight in, in here. Oops, hold on, I gotta move this candle. Gotta move the candle or I can't close the blinds. There we go. I'm glad you're having a beautiful day. That's awesome. I wish, I just wish it was a little cooler here. Oh, good. Thank you for commenting. That makes me so happy. I, I hope you are feel welcome and enjoy yourself. Hey, Bettina, what's going on? Hey, Lulu. It's all clean up here now. It's even vacuumed. What are you going to do? There's nothing for you. Uh -uh. Leave the trash alone. Luca, you leave that trash alone. Leave it. Come here. I did. I got all the tutus done. I don't know if you can see them all. Those are what have to ship out on Monday. So they're done. I just have to make the shirts. I'm so excited. That makes me, you guys don't even know how much I love just going over there and plucking one out and just being done without having to make them again. So bowl koozies. Yes. I got some to make too. They're like almost made. They're sewn together. I just have to flip them out and sew them shut. That's all I got to do. And then they're done for the next craft show that I do because this last one I couldn't go to because I hurt my back. So, so yes, we've got them. They're done. That's those all go out on Monday. So got to do the shirts. Let me grab my sticks real quick. Oh, they're over here. So yeah, I went grocery shopping today. I got some breakfast with my baby, my Terry. Um, and, uh, you know, now I'm up, I cleaned up here really, really good. I vacuumed and everything. Um, so now we're just going to, we're going to make some shirts, y'all. Y'all okay with that? Making some shirts? What is a hot pad? How does one make a hot pad? Is it, is it very much like making a bowl koozie, but it's just flat? Kind of like a pot holder? I would love to know what that is because maybe that's something I can incorporate to my um, my craft shows. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I'm very curious as to what a hot pad is and how to make it. Folded star hot pad. Oh, I bet that's a big seller. Those are so pretty. The, the folded stars, I, I assume that they're as beautiful as they are on a quilt.
that was a big sign, my girl. So I thought we would make some samples too. Like I would get one shirt on one machine actually working on a shirt and um, then one machine doing samples. Okay. Bull koozies are a big seller. They're a big seller for me too. Did you mark your prices up like we talked? They should I'm not. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Please understand that. I'm not telling you what to do with your business. I'm just curious. I hope you marked them up because I can sell mine for between 10 and 15. And I realize it's um, a geographical thing um, that some, some, and even with mine, some, uh, some, uh, that's why it's 10 to 15. Some of my craft shows that are smaller, I have to do them for 10. And the big, the big, huge craft fairs, I do it for 15. Oh, good job. That makes me feel so much better for you because you need to, you need to make money doing this. It's not just for the fun of it. While it's fun, it's very fun to make and fun to do, but you know, you would need somebody to appreciate it as well. Give me just one second. Gotta get a hoop. Gotta get a hoop going, y'all. Give me just one second. Just gotta get a sample going. Hold on one second. Luca, you ever feel like you're right in the way, my love? I'll be right there. Give me just one second, guys. I'm just trying to figure something out. Just trying to figure something out. Okay, let me catch up. 14. That's a good price. Um, that makes me feel better for you. Not that it's my business. It's none of my business. You guys know that. So who else here? We've got Liz and Kathy and Bettina. And we've got some more people that are in here that aren't talking. It's okay if you're a lurker, if you're busy. I'm just curious to see. Hey, Alicia, how are you? I'm just curious to see who else here. Um, I, I understand the... Uh, lurking and not talking, but sometimes it's nice to know who's here. <laughs> sometimes it's nice to know. You know how that goes. Sometimes it's just nice to know. And it's good to talk to people. It's good to talk to new people too. So.
So what's going on with you guys? I'm just working here. You guys know that I'm just doing a work. But I am very curious as to what's going on with you guys. My basket of tricks here. I keep um, a basket of scraps that I use. Like, they're not scraps. They're actual pieces that I use. Like, I use this for a donut, and I use this for sprinkles and that kind of thing. But, um, you know, um, I keep a basket of the most used stuff that I use, the most of it. And then I keep one of little tiny scraps that I can use for Candyland and the um, barn. And then I keep one with all of my tools in it that I use while I'm embroidering. And the good thing at the end of the day is both of these fit in the big gray one. And I just put it underneath my machines, my machine, my first machine, the first one I got. So um, this one is an A. I sew all year round, and the week before Thanksgiving, I have a big open house here, and everything that I'm not keeping for myself. Really? How does that? Hey, Leticia, how does that work? I I've never um, I've never heard of that before. That sounds extremely interesting. Extremely interesting, like something I may want to look into. I don't know. I don't know if Terry would be okay with it, though. To be honest with you. I am fantastic, Leticia. How are you? Good to see you again. I've been missing you on the lives. Luca, you leaving, Mama? You and good daddy? Bye, Lou. Making good. New cell phone. Woohoo! Fourth year doing this. Very profitable. Mostly people I know. Do you like send out like an invite? Is do you have like like hostess type stuff? Like, do you have like like finger foods and and drinks and stuff like that? Like for people to have while they're walking? I mean, how does I'm very curious because I'm sure you could write all of that off. Um, you know, if you if you bought stuff for it, you could probably write that off. I'm I'm just very curious as to how I've never heard of anybody doing that. Um, for something like that. I mean, I've heard of like house parties and, you know, house tours and stuff like that. I've heard of that. I've just never heard of, um, oh my gosh, Kathy. That sounds amazing. That sounds absolutely amazing. And you're all decorated for Christmas and like, how many people do you have come over? I'm sorry to ask you. You don't have to answer all these questions. I'm just very curious as to how this works. Like, super curious. I find this very interesting. Do you have it like all laid out 30 to 40? Wow. Do you have it just like laid out on like your, your goods, like laid out on tables or like in the rooms? I imagine you could make a really pretty table, um, like table setting with all of your stuff. I just, I find this so interesting. 
been such a good idea. Okay, so sorry about that. I had to, to go check my, my, I'm waiting for a text message um, from a friend. So I need to check it every time it goes off. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for, I know my birthday was yesterday, but um, we're trying to figure out when we're going to celebrate. You guys know her. Her name is Misa. She comes on every once in a while. Hi, babe. That is just really interesting. I find that really interesting, actually. Hold that thought. That was not her. Well, thank you, Letitia. It was yesterday. Um, I had an amazing day. My husband absolutely just made the day spectacular. Um, just, he's just amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm a lucky girl. I, um, he's amazing. So yeah, I had an amazing birthday. That is not tall enough. This one is tall enough. So what are you fabulous people up to today? I'm very curious to know. I have to sew bums. I have to surge up some bums. I have to sew up some um, blankets. I've got about 10 sample blankets done that I have to sew up. And then I've got six blankets that are going out. So I've got, I've got a lot to sew and a lot. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 pairs of bums going out. Eight pairs to one person. <laughs> so I've got to sew all those up too. Oh, that'll be fun, Letitia. That'll be so much fun. Hold on a second. Now, I know I'm going to butcher this. I'm, I'm going to butcher this name. Shira, Shira, thank you so much for the email. I understand. <laughs> I totally get it, friend. <laughs> 
So don't stress. Baby, are you eating lunch? I'm sorry, I could have come cooked it. So I know that you can't reply, but hi, <laughs> got your email. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. It is truly just so appreciated. I hope you guys know that, how much I appreciate you guys. So... Yeah, that's nerve-wracking, Letitia. I remember the first time my my husband, at the time my boyfriend, uh, met my parents and my sister, <laughs> and my sister's boyfriend, <laughs> who is now my sister's husband. It was very nerve-wracking. And the first time I met his family, I was like sick to my stomach with nerves, which looking back on now is so funny because they're so nice. His dad actually sang me happy birthday over the phone yesterday. So it's... it's uh, it was a lot of worry for nothing. <laughs> a lot of worry for nothing. Let me check my phone real quick. It's over here partying because it's dead. Um, Okay. Like I said, I'm looking for this. Um, a text message. So. It's not big enough either. I'm, I don't know why, but today I'm like not cutting the stuff right. I'm not cutting it right, you guys. I'm not cutting it long enough. I'm not cutting it long enough. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. We're at nine, but... That makes me so happy, truly. Thank you so much. And when I met Terry's friends, when we were dating, I was like sick to my stomach with nerves. sick to my belly with nerves, which is, it's so silly because they are like the nicest people now that I, you know, now that I know them. Um, <laughs> it's just silly, right? Oh, that's cool. I hope that went well. This is a, an Easter design, which I know I'm late on. I know I'm late on, um, as Easter obviously is tomorrow. <laughs> but having said that, um, I leave all my stuff up year round. 
um, and I had this designed out, so I didn't want to waste the design. I didn't want to waste the design, so I'm going to go ahead and do it and put it up even though it's late. Um, it can't hurt to sit in my shop till next year. And when I update shirts and when I update prices and stuff, it's there and it won't be. Um, it will. I won't have to redo it with pricing and everything at, at the. You know, when I go to put them up, I won't have to do. I won't have to fight with it. It'll just be up there. It'll be easier on me. You know, it'll just be a lot easier. <laughs> so. I'm not used to doing lives on the weekends anymore. I'm used to doing them like Monday through Friday. So I'm hoping that you guys will. Oh, mighty hoops only work for multi needle machines. Multi needle. As far as I know, multi needle, at least for the brothers, multi needle only. I would imagine for Rakoma and Melco, um, they're all, well, they don't make single needles. So, you know, obviously mighty hoops are for them. Um, you know, um, but as far, for me, I, I know for a fact, cause I had a brother, I had two, three brothers, single needles and I've, I've got two multi needles and, um, they were not available for the single needles when I, when I had them, it may have changed. May have changed. We'll see. But I, I'm just going to throw it up in the shop. I know it's late. I know it's not going to sell until hopefully next year. Um, but this way I can I can edit them all at the same time. I don't have to worry about editing it piece by piece when it's time to put it back up. You know what I mean? It just makes it a lot easier on me. In the long run, it makes it a lot easier on me. Hope that makes sense because it's what I've been doing for like the last year and a half and it has worked really well, like really well. Hey, Gail. Yeah, I understand the wanting of a new machine of a multi-needle. I saved for quite the while for mine. Um, everything I made on YouTube went to it. Um, and now I have two. And I'm so thankful for the second one because without it, I wouldn't be able to keep up. So I'm currently saving for a third. We shall do a C. So we'll see. I'm not being silly. I don't think these are going to, I have no, no hopes that these are going to sell because they're obviously late. Um, but I, I do want to get them up for next year. Uh, get a multi-needle machine. I understand. Hey, Sarah, how are you friend? Fairly easy to learn. Come here, single needle. Um, what single needle do you have? What brand? Alicia, what, what brand uh, multi-needle do you have? How's it going? Oh, you're in Long Island? I didn't know that. You have a brother. What model? Because I've always had brothers. I can probably help with this. Let me see what you've got going on here. I'm good. Getting ready to go on the last two loads of rock. To get one of 
the last two loads of block for our garage we are building. Oh, cool. Took me a minute to read it. Sorry. <laughs> Hey Marge, how are you? Welcome in, you all of you, all of you guys that are newer coming in. Gail, Sarah, uh, Marge, welcome in. In case I didn't welcome, I know I welcomed you guys, but but welcome to the party. Keep the party going for a while. How's that sound? Because I still have to sew all that stuff. Had a comment in Q seven seventeen hundred and Novus. Is that the one that replaced the sixteen hundred? Is that the newer model of the sixteen hundred? Because I had the sixteen hundred. Um, I know for the sixteen hundred there are no mighty hoops. Um, you just have to use the hoops that it came with. Hey Connie. Aw, yeah. So I'm sorry, but when I had it, and this, I had it. two years and a couple months ago. So th what I would do there is, let me pull it. Hold, just give me one second. Let me pull it for you. Um, there is a group on Facebook. <sighs> do, 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 mighty hoop. It's called Mighty Hoop. Let's hoop it together. Um, hold on a second. Hey, Michelle. Alicia, here is the link to the Hoop It Together, uh, Mighty Hoop, Hoop, Let's Hoop It Together site. You can ask any questions on there and they will answer. Kathy Hoag, Hog, Hoag, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, um, is amazing. She is a great, um, a, a great resource to have when it comes to the brother, uh, I'm sorry, to the Mighty Hoops. Um, in fact, I tried to order a Mighty Hoop, a 10 by 10 for my machines because I have a couple of nine by eights and I have some seven, six, seven, two fives, which are the two mainly that I use. Um, and I wanted a 10 by 10 for like a size 12 and 14. Um, and she came back real quick and told me, no, ma'am, they don't make it. Here's, here's a list of what they make for your machine. So it, um, she's super, super helpful. So if you're on Facebook, go ahead and click on that link and join the page. Um, I think you have to be approved to join the page, um, but worth it. She's answered every one of my questions. Hold on for a second. Let me get something to drink. Um, we went to something called Hot Pot yesterday, which is like a Korean barbecue place. And this food, it wasn't salty, but my dip I used was like soy based and it's made me thirsty. It's 
made me so thirsty. So thirsty. Mmm, it's so good. My dad and my mom and Terry and I went and it was amazing. It was so good. Alicia, I hope that helps some. She is um, really good. Really, really nice. We'll answer any questions you have. And the people in the group are extremely knowledgeable as well. And they will help you as well. If Kathy doesn't get right on it, which is unusual. Um, I mean, she may go a day or so without answering. But she's usually like Johnny on it. Um, that is... Um, that's where I go. Oh my goodness, Michelle. Yeah, I live in a very small town too. Um, we have to go to, we went to Tampa. We had to drive out to Tampa yesterday for it because there's one in Tampa and one in Orlando. I um, much prefer the one in Tampa to the one in Orlando. It's so much better. Um, this is really good. It's just really, really good, really tasty. Oh, goodness. Well, yeah, girlfriend, but you get to come stay here and be here. <laughs> we can meet and hang out and be friends. And not that we're not already friends, but we could hang out and have a good time. I can, we could have a good time. I did that one wrong. I'm already doing stuff wrong. A craft daddy. That is true. That's a good way of putting it. I've never heard of a craft daddy before, but that's that is something to look forward to, to be honest with you, having a craft daddy. That's hilarious. You are so funny, Michelle. Michelle, Michelle. You crack me up. Did you see that comment on TikTok yesterday, Michelle? On my Darth Vader one? My sister got on and was like standing up for me. It was a nasty comment. Yeah, it was pretty bad. And then he, the guy, I need to just block him because then he jumped on and jumped on my sister. I told Terry, I'm like, you know, I can't change it. I can't. This is what happens when I put myself out there, you know. It's happened on YouTube a lot. It's happened. It's not happened on on Instagram or Facebook, but it has happened on
on it has not happened on um, Instagram but it has happened on um, yeah what are you gonna do not much you can do right It made me cry. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Some of the times, the comments on faith on on here make me cry. Like that's why I have everything set to um, unless it's set to. Um, but that's why I have YouTube set on to. I have to. Um, <laughs> oh, I can't even talk. That's why I have comments on YouTube set to be approved because they're just mean sometimes. Just a little mean sometimes. So, you know, it's just, um, it is what it is. I really need to work on my Instagram. I don't know what to do or how to do it on Instagram. What I need is I need a social media person to come in and take over my crap. I got TikTok down, but I need help on my Facebook pages. Well, my one Facebook. You guys, the VIP page is just fine. Look at this hair. The VIP page is fine, but I need help on my actual, the actual... content, I guess the, the actual page, not the Facebook, not the VIP page. Cause that the VIP page, I have it set to where, um, people have to be approved and it's just, um, more private than my sweet threads gifts actual page. I have an actual business page. Um, so the, the private group is a lot more loosey goosey, a lot more friendly and a lot, it's just a lot more fun. We have a lot more fun on that page. Um, but the actual business page, anybody can join because I want my customers to join. I want people to be happy. Oh, thanks, Alicia. Oh, the bubble tea. It was so good. I'm sorry. It was taro. 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 It was so good. Thank you, Connie. I didn't even know that I could do that. Thank you so much. Did you see it? Wasn't it nasty? Job of the hut. I didn't even, I didn't even think about doing that, Connie. Thank you for thinking. didn't even think about that. I really appreciate it. Press and hold the comment and dialogue will pop up. Okay, let me go do that real quick. Hold on. All right, Connie, thank you so much for that. I just did it. 
I don't know why. When that happens, like on a, not on, what's the word I'm looking for? I kind of freeze up still. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just so unnecessary. It's just so unnecessary. I thank you. I understood the up. I I got it. I got your back, Jack. And you got mine. Thank you. This one requires me to babysit it a lot. Like a lot. It won't go all together. So All right, I just invited my family to join the live. <laughs> it's under the comments on my Darth Vader video. Um, yeah, I have a saying, like Dave Matthew, you guys, if you guys don't know, I'm a... Dave Head. Like, I've been to over 100 Dave Matthews Band concerts. I love Dave Matthews and Dave Matthews Band. Love them. Part of it is because I discovered them when I first started dating Terry. And the two go together in my head. Like, when I hear some of the songs, I immediately think of Terry. Um, so that's part of why I love it so much. I, I do believe that. Um, but... Um, he has a saying that says, be kind always, no matter. And um, he says it a lot. They're part of why I love that band so much is they're very accepting and they love everyone that, that is nice and kind. And they don't, they, they don't talk bad about people. They just talk about bringing people up, you know what I mean? Um, in their comments. And I met one of them and they, he was just the nicest guy so nice um but there they do have a saying it says be kind always no matter and i love that saying and i try to live by it but i fail a lot i fail a whole lot Let me lay this one down. This one. Wait, just one second. Let me lay this fabric down. This one's got 33 steps of fabric. What Susie says about Sally says more about Susie than Sally. That's true. It costs nothing. Nothing. It costs abs. Oh, my hair. I need to put my hair up. Hold that thought. I thought I had a hair clip up here. I must have taken it downstairs. Hold on.
I'm just going to use a knitting needle and do it up like we did in the 90s. <laughs> do you guys remember using the sticks to hold your hair up? You twisted them into your hair. That's what we're fixing to do. Stick it in, go over, stick it in, turn it around, stick it again. So I've got a knitting needle in it. Gotta put the hair up. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's true. It is. It just gets hot up here. I got both machines going. The fridge is always going. I'm fixing to have my sewing machine going. I close the blinds, but it just gets hot up here. Um, like right now, hold on, I'll tell you. It's 71 downstairs and it's 76 up here. No big deal. Just have to, I've got the ceiling fan going. I'm fixing to get that fan going. It's not, it's nothing bad. It's just, it just is what it, it's always been that way up here. But recently it's gotten bad. Part of it is because it doesn't um, get that warm downstairs enough to turn on the air. So up here is just no air in Florida. And now my stomach's growling. <laughs> no, I haven't had coffee. I've had no coffee. So, yeah, it's it's nice and cool. I mean, it was nice. It was. I'm trying to think of the way to say this because it was still hot, but it, it the humidity wasn't so bad. All right, let me look at this one. See what we can make over here. So, you know, I turn my heat on. What? The jeepers. <laughs> I, say, I used to say that. No one I know says that anymore. That's awesome. That is awesome, friend. I put this back where it came from. It rained here in South Carolina for two days. It's a cold rain. Oh, that's the best. 
I truly, like truly love cold and gloomy weather. I, I love the cold, dreary, wet, foggy weather. Love it. Love it. But let me tell you, the last time I was up at Pam's, um, it was so cold. And I was so sick. <laughs> I was so sick. the last step of that one. That one's super quick. It just takes a lot of babysitting. A lot of babysitting. Which is fine. No big deal. I like it in the 50s. 50s cold, wet, rainy, foggy. And it's not weather that I like to get out in and drive in. I love... My mom and dad had a house in North Carolina in, Highland, um, in Highlands, North Carolina. Um, and when it was rainy there and the fire was going and I could curl up on their super comfy couch with a book, um, oh, so nice. It was so nice. All right, let's get in this one. This is driving me nuts. Be loud. Sorry. Mighty hoops are heavy. Those are fixed. They just have to dry up a little bit. Yeah, Mother Nature is angry. <laughs> I'll give you that. 
She's an angry, angry person right now. I'm just entering all this in. Give me just one second. I'm just talking to myself, y'all. Just talking to myself. Just doing a talk, talking away. We have a restaurant here called Uncle Nick's. It's so good. Um, it's an Italian deli, bakery, de de more of a deli. Um, and they have the best bagels in the world. The best bagels in the world. They're so good. I mean, I'm. it's a local family owned and operated little business. So, I mean, it's not like you're not going to get like Einstein Brothers bagels or, or stuff like that out of it. Um, Woohoo! Dead on. Hold on, let me just trace this out real quick. Hold on one second. Sorry guys, I'm here. I'm right here. Some more drink. All right, let me. All right. Yeah, she's got her, her panties in a wad. That's for sure. Yeah, carbs are the best, right? And an onion bagel. No, I'm sorry. An Asiago bagel, onion cream cheese. And then on it, I got red onions, tomatoes, cucumbers, and capers. I only ate half of it. I should probably go down and get the other half. But now I'm doubting that I want to eat on the live again.
Now I'm kind of rethinking eating on live. Well, that's awesome, Michelle. I'm so proud of you. trying really hard, like really, really hard to, um, I'm out of bobbin. <sighs> I'm trying really, really hard to, um, keep this place clean um not clean it's very clean it's it's dusted I dust it once a week if not twice a week vacuum once or twice a week or especially every time I use minky it gets vacuumed lay this one down. Let me get this next one going. At least get it set up. That is true, Michelle. The dust makes it all harder, or the sewing and all that makes it harder. That's why I clean it so often. Um, but but I have worked my butt off the last like two weeks. Um, Wendy came over and we Marie Kondoed my fabric. Any fabric that I don't currently use for designs, currently use. And any fabric that that I, especially that I haven't used, that I'm not going to use and did not bring me great joy, I got rid of. Um, I gave it all to Wendy. Wendy got it all. I have, I found a ton of quilting, not, I didn't find it, like surprise. It wasn't like a surprise. I already knew it was here. Um, but I came across, I should say, because it was never lost, a ton of quilting fabric, like fat, Quarters, fat eights, jelly rolls, layer cakes, um, charm packs, and it's almost all discontinued. Um, so I'm going to go on the group that destash for those who, for people who aren't cray cray. I think is what it's called. Um, so. We'll see from there how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Huh. 
is weird. There's no middle. Okay, I guess that's the way it goes. Um, so I'm gonna try really hard to, we went through all, all of my fabric, like every last piece of fabric that I have. Every last piece of fabric I have. Every last piece. It took us hours. It took us hours to go through it. And I, um, <laughs> got rid of, we had, she, she ended up going home with four 55 gallon contract bags, you know, like the black contractor garbage bags. She went home with four of those filled with fabric. <laughs> So, you know, it was a lot, a lot, um, but it felt good to get rid because it was like there, there was so much that I wasn't using and never would use that it made it um, hard to find what I wanted to use or I forgot that I had something that I bought for a specific purpose um, that I'm still thinking of doing. So we'll see. It was, um, it was, uh, it was, it felt good. And it felt good that, um, um, it felt good that somebody got it that could use it. She's going to make some scrappy stuff. Um, and she can use all the different fabrics for, I still kept, I still kept quite a bit. Like, ugh. stripes, solids textures, other, most used, polka dots, Ugh. specialty, gingham, down here, glitter fabrics, and holiday fabrics. This whole thing, hold on, I'll show you. It's, so, it's awful. But this whole thing was filled with boxes of fabric. And so now I've only got my big minky that I can't use in blankets. I can use in samples. Um, and that's all I've got right now. So I did pretty good. I did pretty darn good.
So, yeah, it was a lot, but in a good way, you know, someone can use it. I'm not throwing it away, you know. Um, I called around like local quilt shops to see if there was like a donation for like a donation place for like the quilts of valor or the quilts for the little kids that have cancer and are going through chemo treatments in the hospital. And they said that they, the only people that they take um, donations from are those who are already involved in their system. Um, they're volunteers and such. That's the only place that they can take, which is silly because it, whatever. I just feel bad. All right, sorry guys. I had to program this machine. Oh, it's already on there. No wonder I can't find it. Okay. Let me catch up with you guys. So we're not talking, so I'm curious as to what's going on with you guys. Every time we get super quiet in the live, I wonder what's going on with you guys. And then I think, am I not talking enough? Am I not being engaged enough? Like, what can I do to make it better? So I don't know. I get kind of stuck, and I don't really know what to say or talk about or do. 
um, when you guys talk and ask me questions and, you know, interact, then I know better what to say and what to talk about. So I get nervous and I just end up just talking and I talk about nothing. I just talk away. So, you know, um, I got my, my closet cleaned out and all the ribbons put up, all the minkies in alpha, alphabetical, good Lord, rainbow order. Um, I've got, I do have a couple areas to clean up on my desk that I just can't seem to keep straightened up. But, you know, it is, um, it is, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. Hey, Kathleen, thank you for the birthday wishes. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. How are you? You will bonk anybody with a blue, <laughs> a blue wrench. Wapow, right? Wapow. What's going on with you, Kathleen? So now that everything is like, um, everything is in its place and everything has a place, um, I just need to make sure that when I'm done with whatever it is I'm doing, I put everything back to where it belongs. Hold on for a second. Luca? What's she working at or, or whining at? Okay. I've never heard her. That's a weird noise, right? Luca, am I talking about you, girlfriend? Was it the dogs next door? Luca was doing this like very interesting little. She does not like it when people are in her. Hi, Luca. Did you hear me talking about you? Did you are you going got your baby? Come here. Want some lovings? The girlfriend wants some lovings. Hi. It's a pretty girl. And I'm releasing a vlog today, like later tonight. So hopefully you guys will get to see that and be excited about it. Well, see if I can fix it this way. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what's going on, Kathleen? My friend, you can't be in the dumps. You're too amazing. Who do I need to beat up? Because I will. You guys don't know, I'm feisty. Nobody messes with my friends or my family. I'll take the heat on me, like in that TikTok video, I'll take the heat on it. But nobody better ever talk to my family like that. Uh, 
I will hunt you down if you hurt my family or friends. Let me be the one to tell you like that. Nobody plays with my family or friends without me getting into it. If they tell me. Well, sometimes my family doesn't tell me because they know I'm going to get all pissy. Right. Okay. We got that one going. So we got two on the hoop. We got a... That one's almost done. This one just started. And it's going to take a while. So I have to watch both of them very carefully. Hey, Ollie. Hi, Karen. How are you guys? Oh, you're going to make yogurt like yourself? How do you do that? Now I'm intrigued. See, you just got to put that back where I got it. Got it. Put it back where it goes. One down. Eight more to go. I mean, seven more to go. I found it. 
Hey, my dick. Who's excited that I found it? Whoa, hours. Holy goodness. Just finished my first gifted baby blanket. Yay! Yay! Would you put do you feel comfortable posting it in the VIP group so I can see it? I would love to see it. See if it's similar to mine. Holy crap, Michelle, you're like multi-talented. Get it, girl. You are multi-talented, my friend. Oh, Ollie, please do. I would love to see them. I love seeing y'all's work. Oh, don't even say that. You might be a jack of all trades, but you've mastered a lot. And you're an amazing human. Don't you dare forget that either. Okay. Hold that thought. All right, I'm going to piece together these. Um... Are we lagging? Are we stuck? Are we frozen? Can someone let me know? Kathleen's experiencing a lag. So can y'all let me know if we're lagging? Girlfriend, be gentle. We're all friends here. We're all friends. <gasps> Megan, hi. Happy belated birthday to you too, my twin. Thank you for letting me know. Kathleen, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. all small blankets right now which is like it's 
kind of sad to me because I like making the big blankets because they're like really good money. Um, but the <laughs> not sad because they're so much easier. Okay. Yay! Which one was it? I love how we just like help each other out and just support each other. It's like one of my favorite things about this group is just how good we are to each other. You guys are, are so good to each other. Candyland. <laughs> it's super popular right now. I counted. I have over 60 samples to photograph. Over 60. I got to hop on it. Oh, okay. I, 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 that's one of my good sellers is the farm print. It's the farm outfit with the cow print. Hopefully it's not just like mine. <laughs> You are not wrong, Michelle. You are not wrong. Is anybody in need of ribbon? I have a ton and I can sell them at a really good price. Oh, no, I didn't mean you would. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. If it came across that way. I, I, I truly didn't mean it that way. I would never think that of you. Ever. Never, ever, ever. But yes, if you guys are in need of inexpensive, not inexpensive, but less expensive than other places, Ribbon, let me know. The cow print, animal print, and polka dots are more, and gingham are more because they cost a lot more lot more to order. Like I was in shock at how much it cost. Um, so I've got about 10 sample blankets to do. Um, whoops. Um, that need to be sewn. And then I've got six that are sold.
So that's good. I ordered my ribbon from AliExpress. How much did you pay for your cow ribbon on AliExpress? I would be terrified. Did you? How'd you pay for it? Not that it's any of my business, but if you pay for it via credit card um, and not a debit card. Um, it should be your card should be able to do to take care of that. Like you can dispute the charges. If you bought it through PayPal, PayPal, you can do it as well. As long as you didn't send it friends and family on PayPal, you can you can get it back. Ali, are we friends on Facebook? Okay. Okay. That's good. I just, I have had really good experiences with Ally Express and I have had horrible experiences with Ally Express. So it's like for me, and that's just me, <laughs> it's hit or miss. Um, I've had to go back with my credit card and decline. Um, fix it to where they um, refunded my card because of them. I have had that happen. Okay, this one is not pinning correctly. It's supposed to arrive April 13th, but they... How did do you know if they shipped it air or C? Because if they shipped it C, then um, Ollie, tech, um, send me a message on Facebook. I am not in the business to sell ribbon. Please don't think that. Um, but I, I would like to help you guys. If I can help you, I would like to. what to tell you friend fingers crossed because if it was what was the turnaround time do you know like when what day it said it shipped thank you kathleen for the thumbs up reminder <laughs> thank you guys They probably sent an error for it to be here this fast. Come with me. Ignore the mess in the floor. It all has to be heat and bonded. That's why it's there. Y'all take a look. That's 
my breathing. <laughs> now, I do go through a lot of it, honestly. I do, but I do have some that I'm not uh, using. So if you, um, you know, you know, I buy in bulk. With as much ribbon as I use, I buy in bulk. No doubt about it. Yeah, I'm set on ribbon. <laughs> You're not in trouble, my friend. <laughs> you are not in trouble, my friend. That is for sure. That one's done. That one was rough for some reason. It was not cooperating. All right, I gotta get my phone out for this one. <laughs> I can't remember how to go. Um, Ollie, I don't know. I can help you one on one if you'd like. Um, I'm just starting to get very careful about what I vlog when it comes to my work, and that's why I don't show a lot of work on these lives, which I catch a lot of flack for not posting any of my work on the vlogs and the lives. Um, but um, I just, and I'm not saying you guys, please understand, because we got 18 people here and I'm pretty sure that, not pretty sure, I'm extremely sure that none of you guys would do this, but some people do come in and um, follow me to copy me. And that's why I don't share all my secrets. Um, but I would be more than happy to help you. More than happy. Um, if you text, if you not text me, I can't even talk. Um,
Ollie, I just replied. I just, I just, um, I just messaged you back. So, um, ba -bum, ba -bum. that's what I need to do. I need to get this and figure it out, y'all. Figure it out. Let me, um, let me, um, sorry. I know that was loud. Probably scared you guys out of your mind. Let me set this one up because I have to really look at it to be careful. Um, so let me set this one up and then I will, I will be right there. This one is so many steps. Give me just one second, because if I stop in the middle of it, I can never figure it out. All right. All right. Ooh, KFC. Mmm, that sounds good. Popcorn chicken's the best. I have I cannot get it. Sorry, Kathleen. I, I did see it and I didn't answer. I didn't mean to ignore you. Um, in my stores and in my app, they're still $45. I can't find one, but I'm thinking, like Michelle says, maybe I can sweet talk Pam out of one. Yeah, I I can't find it. In fact, let me look. Again. And I was actually in the store today and I looked and I didn't see it. Let me see. Oh, it's down to 38.75. But no, I have not come across it. Nope. So I, I meant to reply. I just brain fart. Okay. 
I'm probably going to greatly regret making the sample. <laughs> it's a lot. A lot of steps. Probably going to regret it terribly. Probably both of the ones that are, that are on right now, I'm probably going to regret it. <laughs> But that's okay. right down the middle. You know, that's a good idea because All right, I just sent Pam a, a, um, a message because I never thought about it, but you're right. That would be a good idea. Never thought about it because I'm crazy. I just, she's probably in church, or she's at lunch. She'll get back to me, or she may or may not. Pam and I are very similar in the fact that we're we're both bad at texting. We're both very bad at texting.
both of us. <laughs> I mean, I, sometimes I'll go days without checking, like a day, not days, but without checking. And um, I'm uh, what I'm more, what I'm much more worse at. Is that even how you say it? Much more worse. What I'm even, even worse, even worse. That's even worse. I know that. Um, is Facebook Messenger. I am just horrible at it. That is what I'm really, I'm really bad at it. Um, in fact, Ollie, you may have to remind me. <laughs> if I don't get right back to you, you may have to remind me. I hate even saying that, but I, I just don't see it that often. And I don't want to, um, Text Sterly. That's a good idea. I'm going to wait till I know for a fact they're home. Oh, Sterly's not with her mom. She had a, she had something going on with a good friend of hers. So she's not with her mama. I'll probably text her tonight. If I don't hear back from Pam, I'll text her tonight. That's a good idea, though. Get some pink. So today is my nephew's, yesterday was my birthday. Today is my nephew's birthday. Um, so tomorrow we're celebrating all of that, and plus Easter with family. Um, so um, I'm trying my best because usually I work on Sundays. I really had wanted to spend today with Terry, but um, he reminded me that tomorrow is Easter. Um, so decided to come up and spend the afternoon with you fine folks. So I just sent her a text message and I was like, hi, are you guys okay to wait just a second while I go fix the coffee? I need to make a coffee. Are you guys okay with that? Because I need a coffee. I'm getting a headache from no caffeine. 
I had just a little bit of caffeine today. All right, I'll be right back. Michelle, you and Kathleen are in charge. All right, we are back. We are back. <laughs> Snoop's in the fabric drawers. Come Snoop, I share. I had to order a ton of BB crap tool. Everyone is out of pink and I had to do um, a pre-order and bloop. Michelle, I make them. Yeah, I had to. I'm out of pink. I'm not completely out, but I'm so close.
so close to being out. Like scary close. found it. I found it. Let me put it right back where I got it. Putting it right back where I got it. Oh, no, Kathleen. I was going to take you guys and sit down and sew some. But it looks like I'm going to be doing this. Because these, for whatever reason, all of these designs, like, they can't be... They have to be babysat. That's the one thing about merging designs, which is what I do now. I do all the merges. Um, never mind, that's not gonna work. Um, is it doesn't like do all the tack down, do all lay all the fabric down and cut all the applique out, and then it goes into a stitch mode where you can walk away. These just don't do that. They just don't do it. Which is fine. I mean, you, you know, it is what it is. I look at something. can't find what I'm looking for.
All right, I gotta look at my computer, guys. I'm sorry. Just gotta stare at you a little bit. Gotta stare at you a bit. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm looking for an order in a, in a sea of everything that looks the exact same. All right, I figured it out. I figured it out. Uh, okay, let me catch up with you guys. I did. They're still out. I ordered. I ordered fifteen bolts because that's how fast I go through paint tool. I go through it so fast. It's crazy. Oh, um, Michelle. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the thumbs up reminder. We're doing good. We got 28 thumbs up. That is awesome. But if anybody hasn't um, thumbs up it yet, that'd be great if you did. I really appreciate it. That is a lot of tool. It's 40 yards a piece. I'm just putting blankets together. Just, um, I'm just pinning them before I go over and sew them up. my handy dandy Forty yards on a bolt. And I can usually get three to four tutus out of each bolt.
that's the one thing with this minky fabric is you have got to really pin the mess out of it. Like, Slippery, slippery fabric. It's super slippery. Super slippery. It's in fact it's so slippery. I actually just said slippery. I'm about to stare at you one more time. I'm sorry. Okay, I did it right. Whew. I was scared. I was scared that I had messed up somebody's blanket and somebody's order. Oh my gosh. I mean, I still would have been able to fix it, but it's a lot of work. Woo wee, so much better. That is true. I, the same way with Minky. Minky's the same exact way. Minky gets stretched and then the little dots go flat. And then when you go to sew it, it's wonky, wonky. It's all stretched and pulled and it doesn't look good. are done. Oh, yum. Enjoy it. Michelle. That's kind of cool. Do you guys want to go sew with me? Or should I just stay at the machines and babysit them? Hmm, because if I go sew, then I have to get up all the time. You know what? Let me work on my samples, my sample blankets. That's what I'm going to do. Let's work on sample blankets, shall we? I 
think I'm just going to work on sample blankets and I'm going to sew either tonight or tomorrow with the machines off. Because when I sit down to the, um, at the serger, it's, it's a lot of noise um, when they're all together like that. my coffee almost went. Michelle, you need to get back to sewing. You'll be so much happier. Sewing relieves stress. Unless it causes stress and then, then you know, <laughs> it doesn't relieve it because it's constantly. I think I'm just going to get all my samples ready to be sewn along with the ones that are sold. And what I'll do is I'm just going to put them together back here um, and just Ooh, that's almost just what Florian. Potatoes, that sounds good. Hopefully it's just the bobbin. It's just the bobbin. So that's what's up with me. Just working today. Does anybody have any big plans for Easter?
Uh, we're going to celebrate my birthday, my nephew's birthday, and Easter tomorrow. I got to wrap his present. Holy crap. Forgot about that. Yeah, so we've got plans. I've got to make um, homemade pickles. I'll make those tonight. Um, and I'm making my my brother-in-law, I make a dip that my brother-in-law just loves. So we call it Eric's Dip. <laughs> so I'm making that too because he loves that stuff. Aw, we have, um, so my dad, my mom and dad's 49th wedding anniversary was Thursday. My birthday was Friday. My, my, bro, or my nephew's is today. My, in May, we have my dad's birthday, what would have been my Grammy's birthday, my anniversary, So we've got a lot of April, October, and May are our big months. Those are our big months. You know what I may do, in all honesty, tomorrow is spend the day when I get home taking pictures of all my stuff. I literally have, and I'm just adding to it right now. Let me think about that for a minute. Let me just do a think about that. Because I don't know that I have a good answer for that, what I'm trying to do there. How old's your daughter? My parents had their 49th wedding anniversary. I had my 44th birthday. So it's my parents' anniversary, my birthday, my nephew's birthday. Like bing, bang, boom. Bing, bang, boom. There's another sample. Done and done. Luca's still up here with me. 
being sweet baby. Sometimes she is uh, unbelievably sweet and she's never really lovey, but she's super sweet and she's always so happy. But there are other times like she's crazy, crazy girl. So, you know, your daughter turned 28. Oh, that was, when I was 28, I'd been married one year. Good old days, back when I was still trying to cook dinner all the time and make a house a home and be married and being married to me was was extremely different than what I was used to. Terry and I dated for eight and a half years before we got married. We dated for, I mean, we were engaged for almost two. So when we were about six years, six, five and a half, six years, um, we... Um, We were long distance the whole time, so it was kind of awesome. Yes, we are still, so are you. I got married, I got married at 27. Um, Terry is six and a half years older than me, almost seven. Um, so he was a lot older than, it's, it doesn't, he was older than me when we were dating, right? Um, I had to grow up a lot. I think if I were grown up and had my act together earlier, we probably would have been married earlier, but he, I needed to grow up. Um, so we were long distance the whole time we were engaged and the whole time we dated. And for probably the first like three or four months that we were married, he was still in Los Angeles. Um, so having him home like here and building a home and all that stuff was so important to me. Um, so. I mean, it still is, don't get me wrong, but we have a different groove and a different, you know, we're just, we got some different stuff going on now. This is going to be on the louder side, just so you guys know, one, two, three.
All right, let me catch up with you guys. I always wanted a long-term relationship. It has never been in the cards for me. My best friend's the same way. She's, um, she never even wants, I got two friends, two best friends that never want to get married and never want to have babies. And more power to them. If that's what they want, then they should be happy. Um, you know, um, I always wanted to get married and I always wanted to be a mom, but it just didn't work out that way. Um, so I always wanted to be married. I, and I met Terry and I realized I'd really just wanted to be married to him. <laughs> I really just wanted to be married to him. switch out of threads. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got that one going too. We got them all going on. What's 
I'm sorry, Michelle. I'm sorry. You don't deserve that. Keep on making samples, I guess. Are you guys down for that? Do you guys want a longer live today or a shorter live? We've been doing it for three hours, so we're technically already in the long run, longer run. Um, um, we've already been doing going for a while, but I'm just curious what you guys want. I'm just going to be up here working. Just curious, what do you guys feel like today? Do you feel like a longer live, like more? What do you guys want to do? Anybody got any ideas? Anybody want to do certain things? Like, do you guys want to stay longer? Karen, message me on Facebook if you can. If you don't, if you don't want to, big deal. I just want to see if I can help you. That's all. Send me a message on what's going on and what you're doing, and I'll see if I can help you. That does not sound good, Kathleen. <laughs> I wouldn't be happy with that either, man. Sounds like he was not quite over his ex-wife. That wouldn't be my cup of tea either, my friend. What happens when I get too much in here? I can't find what I'm looking for. But that can go out. That can go out. That can go out. This can go out. This can go out. Why do I have... That makes no sense. That makes no stinking sense.
these can all go out. This can go out. There's what I'm looking for. This can go out. I was looking for that earlier. This can go out. Okay. Now I'm going to take the time to put these up. That makes it a lot easier. A lot easier. Look at what you're doing, girlfriend. You having a good time, baby? Oh, I'm sure he was very bitter. It sounds like it. That's sad. I always feel so bad for people who are so unhappy. That was a big yawn, Luka Puka. Sherry, what's going on? I hear you, Michelle. We'll, we'll still be here. I, I think. No one answered my question, so I don't know. Order a blanket. Uh, Sherry, is it Minky Blanket?
I can tell you what I do. Um, I just embroider on it like normal with, I put two um, stabilizers on the back, um, two tearaways. And I do the, all of the only thing I do different than putting on a shirt is water soluble stabilizer. And it still looks amazing. Hey, Iris. I hope that, I hope that helps. I don't know how to do a tack down stitch. I've never done it before. Um, even on the towel, like fluffy towels that I've done, I have not done very many of those because I don't like doing them. Um, but I did some for my mom and dad. And um, and um, I just did the same thing, water soluble stabilizer. And it, I don't know, I don't think I have a tack down stitch. Um, in my, my available stuff. Yep, that's what I do. That's, that's just what I do. I mean, you know, that and, you know, it doesn't mean anything. That's just how I do it. I hope that works for you. Um, it works on fluffy, the real plush, fluffy towels, and it works on all my minky. And it looks good. Um, you just have to fight getting that water soluble stabilizer off because the only thing I, I dislike about it is that that's always something going on doing that. See you later, Kathleen. Can you put my hair up? Everybody tells me to keep my hair down. <laughs> I don't have a thing to put it up with. Have a wonderful Easter, my friend. And thank you guys truly for the thumbs up. We're at 33. That's amazing to me. Barb, I didn't see you come in. Hi. I wasn't ignoring you. I just, I think you came in maybe while I was getting coffee.
help if I had the cover off of it and safety off. I close all of my 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 um, rotary cutters as soon as I'm done with them. We do need rain. We do need rain. I have a feeling it's going to be a hot summer. going to be an awfully hot summer this year. It's just my feeling. I feel like it's going to be really hot. Sounds interesting. I never thought of that. I never even thought of doing it that way. That's a good idea. A very good idea. needs a lot more time. A lot more time. All caught up. Yay. Mm. Barb knows all the tricks. And you know what? She's also awesome because she shares them with us. A lot of people that know this stuff and know these tricks and stuff, they don't share. So that's awesome, Barb. Thank you. We'll try this for a little while. It ends up falling. See, it's already falling out. <laughs> That's all right.
Okay, I might have to start checking that out. Barb has taught me a lot. I've learned a lot from Barb. Just from her talking, like. Just from her talking on the lives and stuff. And her comments on the, um, on the vlog. Barb is a good resource as well. She really is. She's amazing. Go for it, Sherry. I got a lot of blankets too. Look back. Let me start with another one. See you later, Alicia. Stay safe. Stay safe. Oh, it's absolutely obsolete. You're right, Barb. I use Tearaway. Actually, that's not true. I use... I use Cutaway, but I'm able to tear it. I just have to be careful. I'm just going to pin this one together.
I, I agree 100% that that's obsolete. I got my coffee, got the machines going. The only, the only, I just, I need to, I need to sew. Um, sew these blankets together and sew some bums. I've got a lot of bums to sew. Need to sit down and make some tutus, um, not for not for orders, um, but for samples. I really need to do that. My tummy is growling something fierce because it's two o'clock. <laughs> I'll just drink some coffee. I gotta make a quick phone call. Karen, I'm calling you. Hi. Okay. Hi. So can you turn me around so I can see your computer? Um, I'll put, uh, you know what? What? This one is not too bad. See this? Oh, that's cute. This one's not too bad. Okay. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I like this. Okay. If you, so, are you using the ABC tool? Yeah. Okay. I just didn't know what, so I've, I've put it to, com, uh, at this one, I only modified the comp to six. So I didn't touch anything else. And this came pretty good. Yep. It was the comp I was going to walk you through. Yeah. No, and I, and I know like there's, there's this and there's that, and I, I keep changing them around. Let me show you my last one I did. Okay. But I'm driving myself crazy because I make a change and then I test it out. Oh, let me show you my machine. Okay. This is my... Ooh, pretty. <laughs> so the last one I did... Okay. ...was like this. 
So very too small. You know the kiss. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm happy with what I just did. Okay, so you know how to do it again then? Yes. Okay. Yes, but I'm with this machine. I had to totally. I have about fifteen designs for okay. my shirts that I do. Okay. And um, I did them in Jeff before on my Janome. Okay. So. I have to totally redesign everything. Well, what you can do is you can bring it up. And when you go to save it again in Brilliance, you can save it to the right extension. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I do it to DST. Right. I mean, um, you have to, I have to change because these letterings, I didn't like the way they were coming out. Mm-hmm. Like if you see, for example, this one. That one looks good. Yeah, but like it wasn't all, it wasn't stitching in full. Yeah, sometimes so they're like that. I can't sell a t-shirt that's going to come undone. So I've been playing around and whatnot. Yeah. So, uh, but it's like, it's so time consuming. Do you have um, any like knit fabric that's 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 that gray color that you can practice on without ruining a shirt well no i've already ruined a couple of t-shirts so i'm just using those t-shirts that um you know i'm cutting them apart okay yeah, so all right well if you know what I've you're doing <laughs> since i had this this machine i've done about 130 shirts oh cool congrats but it's like, because I need several hundred. Like, basically, I can sell whatever I make. So I'm going to be able to make a lot more. And I've started earlier. Right. My first show is in June. Oh, that'll but, be good. Um, you know, I, uh, like, I, yeah, I freak, I freak around for a long time. Mm -hmm. I practice, you know. So mm -hmm. anyway, it's, uh, it's just time consuming. Right. It but is. I'm only changing the compensation. I'm not changing anything else. Don't change the pool. Go to, um, if you go to, uh, go to your computer, are you near your computer right now? I'm on my computer right now. Okay. Um, I'm on my laptop. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, why don't you call me later when I'm off the live from your phone and not your laptop? Oh, okay. All and right. then I'll walk you through it. All right. Okay. Thanks. No problem. Talk Thanks. to you later. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye. See, I can actually, um, I can, I don't mind calling people via Facebook. If you guys are stuck on a, you know, stuck on something, I don't mind helping. As long as I'm able to, as long as I'm able to talk on it, I will stop and help you guys. Um, you know. So that's what I just did. I don't mind helping at all. I don't mind. Whatever. If I can help any of you guys, let me know. I love helping. And I, I, if you guys need help, then if I can help you, then let me know. Let me try to help you. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. You are so welcome. What do you do for upside? What do you do for um, upsizing? Upsizing. Upside. I can't even talk. What do you do to upside? Can't say it. What do you upcycle? There it goes. I keep wanting to say it. it's upcycle. 
what do you use for that? Do you like use the backs of shirts for samples or do you actually like take items and, and choose them up? Oh, never mind. Just read it. Sorry. <laughs> Common sense, Danny. Or maybe not. Maybe that's not what I mean. Maybe that's not the answer. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. We're going on three and a half hours hanging out with you guys. Having so much fun. Heard a noise over in the corner. <laughs> like I heard the other day when we were on the live. I just heard it again. Oh, okay. That's what I had in the back of my mind. That's the, in the back of my mind. That's what I was thinking. seven minutes on one and 26 minutes on the other. Let me hoop up another shirt and we'll see what we can find. Actually, I'm going to hook up a, it's going to be loud. It's going to be really loud. Just FYI. Sorry. your face. I'm going to FaceTime you just to see your lovely face. I just miss your face.
that was an interesting little message on Etsy. There we go. That one's set and ready to go. Yeah, sorry. Right. It wasn't my fault this time. <laughs> the customer spelled the child's name wrong. So she wants 50% off a new shirt or a new blanket. Can't do that. I do 10%, but not 50%. They would not, Michelle. You are right. It's okay, though. It'll be, it is what it is. Leslie, I'm so glad to see you, my friend. <laughs> so, so excited to see you. I just knocked the holy mess out of my head on my um, the stand to my machine. I went down like this and wasn't paying attention, and I just smacked the living snot, snot, the snot out of my head. Right there. <laughs> Leave it up to Danny. Leave it up to Danny.
Okay. Okay. It's gonna be a little loud. Sorry. Gonna do some blanket samples. Oh, girlfriend. Thanks for hanging with me, with all of us, actually. whistling a song. I'm sure they'll come in and say something about it. Talking about cars. That does not sound like fun, my friend. That does not sound like fun. <laughs> This one's almost done, almost done.
Oh no, my battery's dead. Oh. Eek. Hang on. Hang on. Maybe it won't, maybe it won't die on me right now. Hang on. Okay. All right. I thought for sure I was going to lose you guys. It was doing a countdown on me. Welcome back, Kathleen. Welcome back. Where it goes and not just leave it out. That's what I'm doing. Trying to do the right thing and stay organized up here. I'm fixing to do, um, as soon as I get everything heat and bonded that's in the bottom of my closet right now, <laughs> um, my sister is going to be here next week to help me heat and bond. Um, once I get all of that done, um, I'm going to do a, a studio tour so you guys can see the studio. going that's going we got it all done danny did you ever make yes i'm sorry i forgot to update you guys i'm gonna do the quilt next week um probably on friday we'll go live on friday and make the quilt together um they finally came over because i told them that i was i was nice I was super nice about it. Don't think I went in all gung-ho, ready to get somebody. But I was very firm, and I told them that this has been going on for a long time, that it's not fair. It's not fair to you guys who sent in everything and are wanting to see it done. It's a community quilt. The community wants it to be done. And they showed up. So... 
I told them that if, if they don't show up this, if they didn't show up this last time, that I would just design it for them because it's not fair. So they got it. It's, it's laid out. It's laid out. So, yes, that will probably look for a live next Friday. I'm going to put it up in the VIP group as well. Conversation's going great. <laughs> Not my fault. So, oh, I love pickles. They're the best. They're so good. They're so good. Oh, you know what? I need to keep going. forgot I'm trying to get these done too. I just keep, I keep getting off. Thirty-five. What? Oh, those are the best. Super juicy pickles are the best. What were you asking? Thirty-five. What? Oh, thirty-five thumbs up. Yes, we have thirty-six now. If I poke myself one more time with these pins. I mean, I'm not going to do anything, but. Danny, the pin cushion, I'm telling you. I'm getting smacked around here. Getting poked like crazy. I hate working with pins. Inadvertently, I always get poked over and over again because I'm not, I guess it's because I'm not careful enough, maybe. I don't know. Who knows these things? I'm gonna have to vacuum again. I got minky going everywhere again. Yeah, no, I have to. I I wish I could use clips, my friend. My life would be so much easier. So much easier.
I just went everywhere. Yeah, it's 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 a real thing. You gotta you gotta pin the snot out of it. Pin the snot out of it. Here we go. No stickies. No sticks. Ow! The stick. Let me get, um, So that's the thing of the lives you guys um you guys get to see the the good and the bad of having an etsy shop you know the majority of the time i'll tell you the majority of the time it's good but you get customers like this one she misspelled her child's name and wants me to pay to have it shipped back to me. And she wants me to take the letters out that are wrong and put new letters in. So I, I, I can't do that. I, I can't do that. That's, it's not something that can be done. She doesn't want a brand. She doesn't want to pay for a brand new one. Um, which I get. I get it. I'm not. And if she does buy a brand new one, she's demanding it be 50% off. And she's mad at me now because I can't do what she's asking me to do. I would literally, it would take literally starting at the very beginning of the design. So... There's no way I'd be able to get it back on the hoop exactly. You know, she's it's been washed. She washed it. She didn't realize it at first. I can't make all that line back up. can't do it and I, I, I feel bad 
but I can't, I physically, like, I literally, I'm not trying to be rude to her or anything like that. I just literally, it's impossible to do what she's asking me to do. You know, I, I can't rip out a name. She doesn't even want the whole name ripped out. She only wants the last like four letters. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just work here. I just work here. Oh, she's threatening to leave me a bad review. Got that going. She has not done a review yet. I'm literally sitting here waiting now for a one star review, which is going to drag my whole star seller down. It's fine. It's it hap It's not fine. It's it's not okay. But we can not do anything about it. Um. I, she wants, I, I can't do it. I can't line it back up. You know what I mean? I, I can't line it back up. I can't do what she's asking. I can't make sure it's centered. I can't, I can't do any of that because it's a blanket. I can't, I can't. Nothing I can do. I don't like it either. It's threatening. It's a threat. It's a threat. There's nothing more to say to that other than it's a threat. Fifty bucks says too. 
if we were face to face, she wouldn't talk like that to me. Keyboard warrior, my friends. And it's so funny, like so funny. I just did a TikTok on rude customers. <laughs> I guess I was preparing myself. But see, you know, that's why I tell you guys these kind of things too, because um, it's important that, you know, you guys, those of you who are thinking about opening an Etsy store um, or those of you that have an Etsy store already, you know, it's something that it can be a learned, a learning experience. You know what I mean? It can, it can be, it can be learned. Something that's learned. Oh my! I'm gonna have to vacuum again before I go downstairs. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, that's the truth, Michelle. That's why I'm just me, you know, like. I'm feeling better about all these um, samples. I'm going through them. Look at Puka. But what are you going to do? You know, she treats everyone like that. I'm, it's not going to be just me. It's, it's anybody, anytime someone like that doesn't get their way. They turn and they, they act like that, which, you know, not how I live my life, but I don't, I try not to judge. So I try heavy on the try. I often, like, I get a lot of questions for um, licensed character stuff. And um, I just refuse to do it anymore. Um, but if it's somebody that I've done, like, their shirts for for a long time, like, I have one customer. I'm on, I just finished year three for her. Um, the third year in a row making her um, shirt. Um, and she wanted a licensed character, so I did it for her. Um, I did not put it up in my Etsy to sell, but I do have a friend that still does character, licensed characters, um, and I send everybody her way. You know what I mean? It's...
Yeah, they can. They really can. I, I'm going to. I keep like looking at my phone, like waiting for it. But maybe she realizes that she's in the wrong. I mean, it's okay to be hopeful for it, right? I'm, it's because of the conversation. It's actually nice and cool up here. Terry turned the air down, I feel. And I've got the fan going. I'm just. It's just got me going. That's all. No big deal. People who threaten to leave bad reviews really upset me. It's really upset me. I don't like being threatened, especially when I'm in the right. No, it's nice and cool up here. I'm, I'm thinking that Terry probably turned it down and he's going to be absolutely freezing downstairs. I feel so bad. Yeah, and Luca, you know, Luca gets cold really easy. <laughs> when it's cold outside, she wears pajamas to bed. <laughs> Yeah, she's got pajamas and she's got a sweater. I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> I got no shame. Not enough. And a hoodie. She's got a sweater hoodie. And she, I know y'all are going to find this hard to believe, but she has a hockey jersey, a lightning jersey. She looks so cute. She's a little roly poly for it. She looks like a little butterball sausage. She's so cute. She's so stinking cute. Have you guys ever seen a picture of Layla and Gypsy? 
Those of you who are on Facebook with me probably have seen Gypsy, but I doubt you've seen Layla. I am itchy. Woo! Minky makes me itch. Like, it makes me just miserably itch. like gets on my face and just itches me. But yeah, she's got a Tampa Bay Lightning hood jersey. <laughs> Did you guys expect any less from me for her to have a jersey, not to have a jersey? Like, is that, it shouldn't surprise you guys. <laughs> I'm allergic to it or if it's just like the little fuzzies get on me. I don't really know what it is, but it itches like a a you know what. Water soluble stabilizer. It's not my favorite. It's just in my hair. I have a lot of like little baby hairs, see? And they tend to itch my face. Like they go in the air, like in the fan. They tend to like brush up against my face and it itches. If I had an actual hair tie or hair clip. It wouldn't be an issue. Cut the blanket on accident. Hang on a second. Ouch.
It's just a sample, so I'm not worried about it, but. But you know. It's a lot like insulation, I feel. have you guys been? How, Leslie, how have you been? We're all so worried about you. I miss you so much. I mean, if you, if you want to share, if not, just text me. I worry about you constantly. I have been fantastic. I had an awesome day yesterday with my family and my husband. Terry made my day so special. Like from the moment I woke up, special. Oh, no, Kathleen. You worry me too, Kathleen. Okay, that makes more sense. That's all you can do, Kathleen. Sorry. I'm apologizing. It's going to be loud. I always feel so bad when it does that to you guys. I always feel so bad when that happens. This ruins my nails too. Absolutely ruins my nails picking all this. What the heck? Ruining my nails. I was going to give myself a, a manicure today. I have to cut my, my nails down because they are getting ruined. Oh. 
So, oh my gosh, 39 thumbs up. If there's anyone in here that hasn't given it a thumbs up, can you do it and get me to 40? I would so appreciate it to get to 40. It would make, oh, it just makes me so happy. It just, it's just awesome when that happens. Once you do not use Pam's. So oh, no. Pam was so mad. So mad. And I don't blame her one little bit for being so mad. I've been cut, like, cut really, a really good cut, like a big cut before by the girl who used to do mine when I we used to get acrylics. Um, I haven't had acrylics in two years. Um, And I, I told her, I was like, I was bleed, like bleeding. And um, she's like, I can give you 25% off because of that. And I was like, mm -hmm. you made me bleed, girlfriend. I mean, I took the 25% off, but probably shouldn't have. I probably should have asked for the whole thing for free. But I felt bad because it was a pedicure and a, and a fill-in, acrylic fill-in. And the pedicure was perfectly fine. So I didn't want, you know, I, I just was upset that she cut me so bad and kind of freaked out too, because there's a lot of bacteria, you know, in, in a nail salon, even if they, you know, they clean their tools and stuff, there's still a lot of bacteria and I didn't want to get some sort of infection. <laughs> That's where my mind went. <laughs> to infection. Yeah, I don't blame her. I would be torqued too. I gotta go make all those pickles. At four o'clock, I'm gonna stop and, and make, make the pickles. How does that sound? Oh my gosh. That's crazy, Michelle. I haven't had nails, like acrylic nails. Um, I had them for like six years, six years. I did them every two weeks for six years. Um, And um, can't get this out. What the crap, pickle? Come on, you can do it. Come on. There you go. There you go. That's how you do it. Um, and then I quit doing it because I got a multi-needle. <laughs> and I was having a lot of hard time threading it and getting like in the little places with big nails because <laughs> acrylic nails, this is going to be loud. Sorry. Acrylic nails can be thick, like thick, not just tall. 
you know, long, but they can, they can be kind of on the thicker side, like the, the acrylic powder can be kind of, it, when you put it on your nails, can be kind of, can be kind of thick and it's kind of hard to work with them, you know? So that's the reason I quit getting them done. And then I got gel done for a long time with my short nails because I have short nails when I don't have acrylics. And they just ruined my, my nails. It took like uh, six months for my nails to grow out from when they... No, that's not true. It took like four months for them to grow completely out. I couldn't even get the nail polish off of them, uh, the, the gel polish off because they, they went into my nail bed so hard that, um, oh no. Okay. I saw something with Etsy and I got a little freaked out. Um, but, you know, and it was difficult at work um, when we worked using the Dremel <laughs> to Dremel the dog's nails. It was like psh, right across my my newly done acrylic nails, which is fine. I'd rather go across that than my my natural nails. That would hurt so bad. That would hurt so bad. So, you know, well, now let me, goodness, let me catch up with you guys. Yeah, the, it's, the drum was awful. That happened with me too. The girl that did mine, she came to the house during COVID multiple times. Um, with COVID, the way it was with COVID, she came every three weeks instead of every two weeks. She couldn't do my toes, but she she did do my fill-ins. She was awesome. She no longer here. She um she moved. So she was my nail lady like from 2010 to earlier this year because I would still go get pedicures and she's not the one that did my drip my um my gel nails that were so bad
So you guys know how that goes. I think um, I'm going to go ahead and end the live. I've caught up on a lot of stuff. And um, I need to go downstairs and make some pickles for tomorrow. It's so good. We do, uh, so you do three um, cucumbers and you peel them and you slice them super thin. We use a mandolin, super thin. And then you salt them down and let them sit for an hour. Um, and they sit for an hour and they, like all the moisture, a lot of the moisture comes out, a lot of the water comes out. And then Terry doesn't, but I do, I rinse them off. And then it's one cup sugar to one cup rice wine vinegar. Um, and you stir it till it dissolves, till obviously till the, water, the sugar dissolves. And then you just pour it over them and let them sit. It is so, they are so good. They're super thin. Um, and they are absolutely delicious. Absolutely. Like I can eat them by themselves. Like so good. That rice wine vinegar makes it. It just, it just puts a little zing in it. Little, psh, little zing, and um, it's good. And sometimes, like, if you want to, you can add like um, some hot sauce or like some red pepper flakes, and make them spicy and sweet. Oh, that would be so good! That would be so good. Can't do it tomorrow, can't do it for tomorrow's, but I'll do it the next time that we make them for us. Put some spice in it. Oh, that would be so good. So, anyways. I'm going to end the live and go downstairs um, and spend some time with Terry because I miss him. We had all day yesterday together and I feel bad. I feel like I should be down there today, but um, I'm going to call him and see if he'll come help me down with all this stuff because I have a ton of stuff to go downstairs. And um, I'm so clumsy. I like to hold on to the railing when I go downstairs. I'm afraid. I have like one of my biggest fears is when he's not here, me going up and down the stairs and I'm going to fall. <laughs> because I am so clumsy. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys. Oh, we got 42 thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. Um, no, he comes up to get them. I, he's, he is such an amazing human. I, I, I just can't even tell you how amazing he is. Um, so I thank you guys so much for the support and thank you so much for staying with me while I work today. It made it awesome. You guys motivate me so much. I hope you guys have a fantastic Easter if you're celebrating. If you're not celebrating Easter, I hope you have an amazing Sunday. I will not be live tomorrow because I'll be at my sister's house. And it's Easter. I want to spend it with family. So look for a live probably on Monday. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>